patience. What exactly is patience? Let's go to the definition real quick to get started. Patience is the capacity to accept or tolerate delay, trouble, or suffering without getting angry or upset. Let me give it to you again. It's the capacity to accept or tolerate delay, trouble, or suffering without getting upset. Patience is extremely important, but I'll be honest, that's one of the things that throughout my lifetime that I've struggled with. And we talk about patience all the way from the time that we're young, as we grow, and it never stops. We always hear sayings or phrases or even scriptures about patience. And I'll give you guys a great scripture as we end. But let's talk about some of those common sayings we hear about patience. Rome wasn't built in a day. And this is a phrase that I actually use as a personal trainer when I'm talking to my clients. Listen, we all want to be in the best shape we can be. We all want our best bodies. But we have to realize is, just as the saying goes, Rome wasn't built in a day. We didn't gain weight. We didn't get out of shape. We didn't lose our physique in one day. So it's going to take more than one day to get it back. So we have to do what? We have to be patient. And of course, we always hear haste makes waste. And I like that one because a lot of times you see people that cut corners, try to take a shortcut, think they're going to get it done faster. But faster doesn't always mean better. When I'm training my athletes, when I have them doing drills, I always have to repeat over and over again, listen, doing it fast and wrong is still wrong. Do it right the first time and you won't have to do it again. That's what haste makes waste means. Something else I want to give you about patience. It's not something that we commonly hear. It's actually a part of the first stanza of a poem called If by Rudyard Kipling. And it's a very powerful line. It says, if you can wait and not be tired by waiting. Let me give it to you again. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting. So what, is, what does that mean? What does that mean? If you can wait and not be tired by waiting. I'm going to give you guys a real life example. Some of us may have been this person from time to time, and I'm sure we've all experienced a person. It's that impatient person waiting online somewhere. That line could be at the DMV. It can be at the post office, at the bank, at the grocery store, to your auto mechanic waiting to pay for your car being serviced or get your car looked at. Wherever there's a line, you can typically find at least one person that sort of struggles with patience. And let's see how that looks. First and foremost, there's a couple things that usually happens with this person. Number one, they want everybody to hear their frustration. And that's a life lesson right there because when you're impatient, sometimes your impatience affects and infects other people. Now this person's in line, they're looking around, they're wondering why the line is taking so long, they're frustrated, they're usually talking in a loud tone and oh, look at this line, this line doesn't make any sense. Then they want to involve you in their impatience Bro, man, this don't make no sense, man. Look at, we in there waiting all this time. Listen, patience is an extremely important characteristic or character trait that we all must have. You're in line waiting somewhere. You can't control how fast the line moves. So getting upset, yelling, making loud statements that may be derogatory against the people that are at work there, doesn't change anything. The line's not going to move any faster because you're upset or angry. Deal with it. Some things in life you just have to deal with it. And being impatient doesn't change anything. Yeah,